Can you guess what I'm doing? Look like a, a cat? Yeah, you're probably right because I'm doing one of the cat family. It's a tiger. The big cat. The stripes on the face. In Chinese, uh, tiger is known as uh, the king of the jungle. It is a character king in the forehead in Chinese writing, but in this perspective, you won't see the pattern like a king, but uh, that's how the name of uh, tiger was known. The King of a jungle or forest, or the, of all beasts. So his fierce face indicates the power, the teeth, the tooth. I use a little, <coughs> a little bit ink, not um, very wet brush. So I always keep the bottom of the brush dry, so I can get um, this the uh, dry strokes. You can the, with white, flying white, you know as so the um, speed uh, can be very slow, even on absorbent uh, rice paper. If you load too much, you cannot go slow like that. Besides, my paper is uh, less absorbent than uh, the tra traditional Xuan paper. Um, that's why I use this, because it gives me a um, lot of details. So I can work with a lot of details, with less smearing of paper. Okay. I'm not um, going to draw the whole tiger. I don't have room on this uh, uh, small piece of paper, so I only draw the head. Stripes on the on the fur, <coughs> and uh, uh, the face. These are characteristics of the tiger. If you have a tabby cat at home, you can watch the patterns. You know about the same kind. 
So if you can draw a cat at home, you can also draw a tiger, theoretically. to wash some new color. I mix some yellow with a uh, brown and a little bit rouge and a little ink. So it's a brown color, even more. Also, with some pink. Okay, the whiskers. I'm going to use my small whisker brush. Um, in this case, I would use white. have to do this in one stroke. That's a very challenge mark. Okay. Now I'm signing. 